That was Mark Trim with eating people's food in the garden uh, and giving away tickets. If you are in the garden and someone asks for your food and he looks a bit like that, then say yes, otherwise don't. It's weird. <laughs> um, uh, we have some giveaways now. Maz, who are they? Is uh, for? Yeah, there's a double pass for Horse. 7.30, the Queen's Theatre. Uh, horse is a delightfully dark physical comedy studying one woman's passion for all the things you horse. Oh, okay. All things horse. <laughs> nice, very good. All right, cool. Uh, and uh, so if you want that uh, and you're in the chat room, you have to neigh. I don't know if you can do that. Is there an emoticon for neighing? <laughs> horse emoticon. Yeah. No, okay, we'll just try to neigh. There you go. We'll see if that works. Uh, cool. All right, uh, that's good. Uh, if, if I don't go off, we'll put them in the chat room. Uh, we have David Ferry here who is an uh, expert on body language. Hi. He sounds awesome. Uh, and you, but you're doing a show about body language, right? That's correct, yes. And, and reading, reading s your own signals as well as other people's. Well, that's right, yeah. Because um, as human beings, what we tend to do is make up a story of who we think we are. So a perception of ourselves. And uh, based on our past experiences and circumstances, we perceive that we're the type of person that we are. But uh, it's worth challenging that because it's not really real. Mm. Sounds awesome. Because that's very similar to like as a stand-up comic, you, you're kind of yourself on stage. Well, that's what you say. You, oh, yeah, I'm myself on stage. But really, you're just uh, what you want to project to people. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You're, you're essentially trying to be the best version of yourself, the version of yourself that when you were a kid made the whole room laugh. Mm. That's, what you, that's what you try and aspire to. Yeah, but you're so. saying that even in doing that, we can kind of, there are clues as to other things about us. Well, if, if, if you were to write like a three-page bio on who you perceive that you are, and read that out. It's very similar to a little child reading a storybook. Yeah, right. um, it's just a story that you've made up based on your take on past experiences and circumstances. And, um, and, that, and that perception that you have of yourself is demonstrated in your body language, in the way that you interact. And uh, we've been studying, well, we've been uh, using body language for hundreds of thousands of times longer than we have verbally. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a show about really about personal development and uh, it's also about reading body language as well. Mm. Okay, so so do you kind of go through, like if someone does this, they're lying and, and stuff like that, or is it more about just more general things? About well, a, a word in isolation doesn't mean much. Um, if you say the word was, what would you say? Oh, my mate from footy, was I? Yeah, was I. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't, doesn't really mean much, mm. but when you put was with a sentence, it means something. And it's the same with body language. A gesture in isolation doesn't mean much, but when you put a gesture with another gesture, and in context, you form yeah. a non-verbal sentence. So uh, when someone touches their nose, I won't look at them and go, liar! <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll just look at other gestures that associate with it. So nose touch and then rubbing eye. People don't like looking at the person they're lying to, so rubbing the eye. Looking down with the left eye is three, four, and the false cough. <clears throat> so you're looking fantastic today. I like that T-shirt. It's really good. <coughs> oh, he's lying to me. That's no yeah. good. So yeah, it's, right. it's good. It's good fun. So do you watch shows like, not The Mentalist, what was the one? Lie to Me, I guess, would be one. And do they, do, are, they, are they all kind of based in fact, or are you like, ah, oh, that's Hollywood? Um, no, it is based on fact. And there's a guy called Joe Navarro, and he was with the FBI, and, uh, and he was the leading uh, psychologist, and, uh, and he, he was about reading people. And so he now is a professional speaker, and uh, and he's got a lot of material. So I've got all, all his uh, all his videos. So I go through Just that. Play them in your show. Here's an hour of his videos. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, well, yeah. Leave your money at the door, please. <laughs> yeah, but about the show. Yeah. Um, it's the first time I've been at the Fringe. Yeah. Obviously, I, uh, I, I well, not obviously, but I've been running a training business for 14 years. Mm. So you do kind of more corporate kind of speaking. Yeah, that's right. So I, I get paid to speak conferences yeah. and stuff. And the first uh, show I did, I, I put a whole lot of new material together and had two yellow horns and a red flashing light on my head and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Classic. And, uh, and it was an absolute flop. So, all right. Yeah. And uh, the second one was even worse. Right. Oh, and the third one, I had like 25% of the people walk out. And um, <laughs> so, are you telling and then this? and then I went to a net I went to a networking event. Right. Only on uh, the, oh, last week. No, no. I went to a networking event the other day, and sat next to a lady, and she said, "Oh, liar, liar, pants on fire." I've seen the reviews on that, and they were really bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah. so what next then? I don't know why you're saying this stuff. And so it's, what, what it's you're atrocious, is, but the market's marketing's been good. What you're you know, saying is you've, hit, you've, hit, you've hit rock bottom and now you're bouncing back. Is well, that, some, uh, of, some, of, some of the shows out there are really bad, but they have good marketing. Right. That's my show. Brilliant. Yeah, but there are shows that are really good <laughs> that don't have good marketing, 
and that's not my show. But but the thing this is, is that clearly your first fringe. <laughs> like, it is my first. You've fringe. got to learn to <laughs> when lie this, your ass off. When this me. lady when this lady said that the reviews were really bad because I could tell. I said I said how were the reviews and she looked away and touched her nose. I said, were, they, were they that bad? And she said yes yes they were. And I said, well, of course they were, because the shows were really shit. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you find that you're quite self-conscious when it comes to how you present yourself? Or have you presumably gone past that point? Because when you were sitting there, we were doing the first part of the show, I was sort of going, I'm sat like this, oh, is that a bit defensive? Maybe I should sit a bit more openly, and I'm suddenly mm. so self-conscious about it. Are you, you self-conscious because you were sitting next to two really hot chicks? I relaxed at that point. Oh, I don't know if you yeah, noticed. Yeah, I because yeah. uh, the blood wasn't married. when they first no, sat the blood down. wasn't in my head. When they so first, I wasn't thinking about it. First, when you first sat down, you were changing. You, you changed about six <laughs> times. And, right, uh, right. Yeah, so you have, yeah, you have yeah. a mental clicker. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it is. It's about gestures and gesture classes. But the thing is, what I went home mm -hmm. and I had a foxtail moment. So the foxtail moment was six hours of sulking. Right. In front of Foxtel. Because <laughs> I, I, I was sulking and I was thinking, oh, and I was on it, you know. The self-talk was going, you know, you're not good enough. You've got nine more shows, ten more shows to do. What, what the hell are you going to do? It's going to be embarrassing, embarrassing as hell. So what I did is reconstructed the show and pulled a lot of my core training material out. Yeah. Made it funny. Yeah. And the fourth show, I had a standing ovation. Fantastic. Wow. And the reviews from that show have been awesome. So if you're watching this, you want to come and see Liar Liar Pants on Fire because the fourth show is unru was unreal. I'm so we, glad we, you, we, we got we to took, that. We took people. So on you've, it. you've turned a corner, mm. but I find that with 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 running in shows, usually yeah. with previews, you have to have a really really shit one uh, with an audience that doesn't get it at all. If you have an audience that already likes what you do, it papers over the cracks. Yeah. If you have a really bad show, you go and go right. What do I need to do? And it's a kick up the arse, and that's by yeah. far the best thing that can happen to you. Yeah, I had three really shit shows. But it, 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 instead of three one. kicks up the arse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the last one was like, oh shit, you know, you know. Um, so, um, so yeah. yeah but the, the, the fourth one was really, I was comfortable. I, I didn't wear yellow horns and the red flashing light. I wore kind of this stuff. So that's one of the first rules of comedy, actually. Mm. Uh, in all the books, that's the how to do stand-up comedy. One of the first things so they say: pull the microphone out, put it behind you, don't turn your back to the audience, and don't wear big horns and a flashing light. Those oh, are the yeah. three, like specifically, those are the three yeah. key rules. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> but you know, you found that's that out a rookie mistake. It's fine. So this is this is your first ever fringe show. Yeah. What, what have you kind of learned about putting on shows then? Um. Oh, look. Like I'm obviously, in... you've learned a shitload. Like. Well, I, I think I think getting getting to my core material in fourteen years of training. You obviously come up with good stuff and when you say something people laugh you go oh shit i remember that mm. and after 14 years of doing it, you get a lot of material so what i'm doing is i'm just getting all my stuff that i know works and then trying to put a funny spin on it and that's been really powerful but i think um i'm hoping to get some artists that know how to make a show better and consult with me so i've been going to the club and getting really pissed <laughs> and um annoying a whole lot of people <laughs> awesome so hopefully they'll come and I'll, I'll pick one that will be okay david this is what you have to do mm -hmm. you know this is how you do it you put some music here you can do this you can segue here so it's a good learning experience mm -hmm. but as i said the fourth show was really good so from now on I've got nine more shows in Gluttony, by the way, mm -hmm. which is By the way, don't get cocky either. That's the other rule about putting a festival, because yeah. as soon as you go, oh, I've cracked yeah, it, yeah, I've totally yeah. clocked comedy, then you get cocky and you don't, you're not, you don't want to put on as good a show as you can, and then you can very easily slip down See, again. These, the fourth these, show these, was good because the, because the, the first three, first were, three were crap. Uh, yeah. So you've now got to go, right, how can I make the next one even better than the f Don't mm. go, I've got it. Go, how, how can I mm. improve from here? Because yeah, if, if you do I relax, am. you can relax and then that people notice that. Here I am talking about self-dialogue and I'm caught up in my own crap, you know, you're right. You're right, you know, so we, we, the, the, the next show's even better. That's yeah. good, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Don't get complacent. Your job is to always yeah. put on the best show you can. Now, we've got to play a game with you. Yeah. Uh, we only have a two left, I think. So uh, they are Candy Challenge and Ski Pong. What tickles your fancy? Ski Pong. Thank Ski you. Pong, all right, nice one. Yay! Ski Pong. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. No worries, it's yeah, our pleasure. Sure. Okay, so uh, you might have played beer pong in your uh, halcyon days. Is, it is that where you did a No, it's where, you know where they like a point and then you've got a skull or something? Oh, right. I don't know, you've seen it in a lot of college movies. Um, your job is just to, uh, you've got to bounce it into there. So it's got to bounce on the, on the floor and first. And do I get certain numbers? Is you get the, five. Yeah, the and the ten, is the ten, ten out of ten? The ten is the ten out of ten. So ten, the ten is the ten out of ten? Yes. And what's the, uh, the four is there? Yep. And the eight is there? Absolutely. So uh, uh, you get five goes. There's only four balls here. Five goes? Yeah. <laughs> what? How is that a thing? Really? Yeah. I, I would have thought that you'd give me like a couple of minutes 
or 30 seconds. No. As many goes in 30 seconds. No. What about as many goes in 15 seconds? You can't bargain with this. There are rules really? for a reason, yeah. Would you take 10 seconds? <laughs> yeah, but if you don't get five away, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'll give you five seconds, how about that? No, no, I'll do five. <laughs> See, I'm such a hard ass. I've never bargained yeah, that well before that. in my life. Oh, bullshit, man. I mean, you gave those chicks, they were able to eat four <laughs> people were eating chocolate, and they won. But you're if I had rich. boobs, you'd, be, you'd yes, say, that's oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I'll not, give you 20 seconds. There's there's a, there's a I have man boobs. You're competing with other people that have done this game. You're yeah. not competing with them. Oh, but so other people right. were eating chocolate one piece Your time starts now. Okay. There's no time. Okay, that's good. Oh, wow. Okay, you can have that one again. Now you can have that one again too. Oh. Or you, you just drop that one. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, Ferry. Go, one more, one more. Oh, okay. You might have to get, okay. So that's like it's 28. 28 okay. plus, so what's that, two? Eight, 18. So 30. So I got that's, two, that's okay. really two, two eights, now one you got, ten. You got two tens. Did you I get two tens? Ten. Yeah. All right, two tens, one eight, and a two, is that right? Yeah. 30. That's pretty good, isn't that it? is pretty good. That's we're going to put it on the uh, on the, the thingy now. Now, just b b while we're just kind of doing the, I feel the like scoreboard. You. Well, you can't. You just look very lovable. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look very lovable. Thank you very much. Just seeing me when I'm cross dressed. Yeah. Are you feeling uncomfortable? You're all right. Come on. Oh, you? I was going to say, I'm, okay? I, yeah, this is this is my hood. Yeah. 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 So, uh, can, can you quickly <laughs> give us a, like, for, uh, have you been analysing us at all? Uh, yeah, I have. Look, I mean, you use a lot of open palm palm gestures. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Um, yeah, so that's really good because it's associated okay. with truth, honesty, and allegiance. The politicians do that a lot, in, don't they? In, that? In, in medieval times, it indicated that you didn't have a weapon. Yeah. And also, <laughs> you, you put it over the Bible when you give oaths. So yeah. open palm gestures when people do that. You know, you weren't going like this, so that's mm. that's. Like not that. Burns. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get you. We're just rolling up snot balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, so I'm honest. What about Andrew? Yeah, look, he's fine. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's right. He's fine. right. He's right. He's right with the uh, the crossing of the legs because you know when when you cross away from us, yeah. mm. he gives the perception out that he's a bit defensive, even if he's not. So, and when you're folding your arms like this, mm. even though you might feel comfortable folding your arms, it's about the perception that you give out to other people, and that perception is that you're defensive. Yeah, you haven't yeah, been doing yeah. that, but crossing the leg away from people. So theoretically, really what you should be doing is consciously showing people putting your the, putting the, now that's a leg lock. So that's an, that's an argumentative competitive gesture. So and now it's a male it thing, in, isn't it? two hands there and you go bang, I'm competitive, I'm argumentative. So, so I, I, I always read that as cluster. an alpha male thing as well. That kind of like, it's that sort of taking up space. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, um, I, when, when you do stand up and people in the front row have got their arms folded, yeah. quite often there's things you can do, get people to put their arms up in the air. And then when they put them down, they're generally not folded. And then they, th it changes their relationship with you. So mm. yeah, that's something that, yeah, kind of when people are like that, you go, well, you're not ready to laugh, are well, you? You, so you? take, you take 30, 37% less information when you fold your arms. You take wow. on board 37% wow. less. Now you've got to put that other leg over this Fact. way now. Yep, being conscious. That's what we're going to do, we, we have one more interview. Right. What I want you to right. do is um, we're going to get you some crotchless panties. And then if you just like, <laughs> look, like just really... Kenny Everett. Panties. Did you get the Kenny Everett video show over here? <laughs> Pants. You really changed the I mood think I would, thing. I would, you know, crotchless panties aren't designed for boys. We would flop. There's flopping involved. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> We're going to go to a leaderboard <laughs> now. Just quickly change that subject. This is you. <laughs> David Ferrier is on top. And by a long way, that means we get to keep plugging your show. Well, I've got nine more shows, so if you do plug it, that'd be great. Awesome. Because, uh, and, and they're, they're going to be better. They're going to continue. Well, that's to it. Don't do that. That's well picked up. That's well picked up. I'm all about this. You you do as you're told. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, David. Hey, Hitler. He's yeah. on at uh, low fine gluttony, like yeah, 3 yeah, yeah. p.m. or 3:30. 3.30 on 3 Saturday and Sunday, and then no, and then 6 o'clock for the rest of the Fringe all the way around. Oh, so super sweet. Nine cool. more shows, nine more shows. Awesome. And uh, really looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for coming in, man. Good luck Thank you. Cheers. Boom, look at that. Thank you. Uh, now Thanks, we have ads. Yay.